Another type of wave that you might interact with a lot on your everyday life, even though you can't see them, is these things called electromagnetic waves, right? Which includes light, but also includes things like radio waves. Electromagnetic waves is these traveling waves of changing values of electric field and magnetic field. If you want to know all about that, you can take our physics 1225 course. But at a very basic level, it is still a traveling wave. So we can still talk about the wave having certain speed, which is related to the wavelength times the frequency. And in a vacuum of space, the speed of electromagnetic waves is this universal constant. And so we can really quickly use these relationships to find out the frequency of these radio waves. Nothing fancy here, different type of wave, different wave speed, but we can still talk about the relationship between wavelength and frequency. This number seems incredibly high, but just to give you some sense, so if you want to relate to like your everyday radio, you might have heard things like 99.7. It's about 100 usually. It's measured in megahertz. So that's about 10 to the 8 hertz. If you still listen to AM radio, say 1230 or whatever, about a thousand, those are actually measured in kilohertz. So the frequency that is used by normal radio for radio stations and whatnot is 10 to the 7 or 10 to the 8 hertz. This is 10 to the 9 hertz. So as frequency goes higher for the same wave speed, your wavelength gets shorter. So maybe that's why they opted to use a higher frequency so they can have a shorter wavelength, which leads to a shorter antenna. And as you know, size in spacecraft, it's really, really important to keep it small.